Hey y'all, what's going on? Hope all is well with you. We're going to get into some messages to see what your person has to say. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope you had an amazing day, okay? What's going on, Spirit? What you want them to know? Suffering. Up. I'm going to keep it reverse. Past lack suffering. It came out in the reverse. We got renewal right here and spark. There has been some sort of spark happening. Yeah, unexpectedly. You've got assistance from your spirit guy. Somebody is missing you, feeling nostalgic. Okay? They're thinking about the old times. All right? But I feel like this person is coming out of that lack feeling now that they're thinking about the past. They may have thought about the past and was like, you know, I did this person wrong. I did this. I did that. But they had to learn to forgive themselves. And they have been getting help from spirit. And now the tower has come in that has bring epiphanies. You y'all are about to have a renewal, a sudden spark unexpectedly. You do not see this coming. This is something that you ha may have been praying for. And your spirit guide said, I am here to help. Also, whatever suffering you have been in, your spirit team said, dun, 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 you should never fear. Okay, the divine ones are here okay they are ready to um steer you in the right path they are defending you okay they are protecting you and they are bringing into fruition the things that you've been praying for i'm also getting a grandmother figure um for some of you you have your folks that are um on the other realm some of you could have even recently gained a um ancestor um, yeah, something could have happened unexpectedly or is, um, but this person is feeling very nostalgic. They want to bring some type of clarity here to, they want to bring clarity to you too as well. Um, the ace of air, they want to clear the air. They want to let you know that they were very fragmented in the past. Okay. They want to bring some type of truth. You have a new beginning and this time it will start off on the right track. Okay, action. And then a little sweet. This person is finding that inner courage. I think you are so fine. Yeah. Stop playing with my mind. I call you on the phone. And now I want you home. This person on their way. They're ready to take action. They had to face their fears. They want to start a new beginning. They're coming in to apologize. Look, I can't make this up. Apology with Twin Flame. They know that you are that person. Some of you are on this Twin Flame journey. Some of you are on a soulmate journey. Don't get too caught up with, like, is getting caught up with the titles of what's going on really affects you or drain you? Then just remove the title from it because this may not resonate with you or Remove the title from it because it's affecting you in a negative way. Regardless, if you're on this twin flame journey, you will know. And if you don't know now, you will eventually know. But somebody is facing their shadow side. Look, they feel like y'all got a lot of chemistry. You or your person could have been going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, this masculine here. Somebody was going through some, some dark times, okay? Could have just been dark times that both of you could have went through this. Um, you could have may have to leave. And operate from your masculine energy. You are operating from a survival energy. You because you had to be the protector and the provider of your connection for so long. This person, your person, is now coming out of this energy because it's going right here under suffering and dark night of the soul. Um, they had some type of sudden spark. They want to renew this. This is very clear messages. Y'all could be communicating on the dream state. Um, Y'all could be connecting in dreams. Um, they could be sending you messages and messages in dream. You could be a dream interpreter. You could just get divine guidance and or premonitions in, through the dream state. But um, I feel like this person dreams about you, or you're about to get some type of message through your dreams, and it could be from your spirit guides. They are guiding you and your person. This the um their spirit guides are guiding them to you, helping them to get out of their shadow energy. And learning to not be afraid of your shadow. Don't be afraid of it. Don't run from your shadow. You have to face it. This person is facing their shadow. And now they're stepping into their divinity. 
they're stepping into this light. They or they're getting assistance to do it now so that they can act. This person wants to come in and apologize. They can't stop thinking about you. They think about the old times, the times that y'all may have talked. Y'all used to laugh and chill. Y'all used to have deep conversations. It's reminding me of the energy, like y'all inner teenagers just want to be free with each other. You know how when you're a teenager and you on the phone and you be on the phone for hours and stuff and you done went and made a sandwich, you done went and sat on the porch, now you sitting on a bed kicking your feet and stuff. Like <laughs> It's just like that type of energy. It's a happy energy. Look, celebration, gifts, abundance, okay? Your spirit team is saying they, they it's something you're about to celebrate very soon. They are gifting you, literally gifting you something. You are actually a gift as well. But I feel like this masculine may wants to gift you something, and it could be their presence. Um, their presence is a gift. Your presence is a gift. But I feel like they actually want to give you something that you can touch, feel, hold in your hand, okay? They've been working on themselves. They've been dealing. You may have taught them in the past. You may have been teaching them, like, especially if you're on social media in any type of way or have a, some type of platform, you've been loving on yourself and you've been taking care of yourself and you've been showing them what to do. Low key, they've been watching you. They've been working on themselves. they also thinking about in the past how they wasn't taking care of themselves. But we got action and attraction. Oh, and we got summer with hot, wet, with growth. There's a lot of transformation that's happened here. There has been a lot of maturity, a lot of growth between you and your person. This, I feel like with you, you have been working on yourself for a long time and now you're very attractive. It's something that you've been, a seed that you could have planted last summer, you're now about to walk into. For some of you, this is your person um, by the summertime, they will be transformed. Somebody's birthday could be in the summertime. Um... Something could have happened last summer or whatever. But this person is ready to take action. They're very attracted to you. They think you're hot, hot. Okay. Y'all both could be fire signs. Somebody could be a fire sign. Somebody could be a Leo. They feel like they need, they um, finally got the courage to come towards you. Look, union, detachment from Twin Flame. You had, they acted very cold towards you and it could have been last summer. You ever had a cold in the summer? <laughs> yeah. So somebody felt real detached from you. Um, they ain't had no feelings. They ain't had no feelings. Like like their feelings was like numbed out. And it wasn't like they was purposely trying to hurt you or even at some point they might have. But I feel like this person recognized that. That's why they're wanting to apologize. For being so cold towards you. They're praying that you don't be cold towards them. Um, I feel like that's another thing that kept them away from you while they're going through this transformation because they were afraid that shoot, would they how they did you, they can't take like they wouldn't be able to take that. Okay. You are much stronger than you know or you knew, and you ain't know until you got through it of how strong you actually are. But look, you got through it. You got through those limiting beliefs, okay? You got through the limiting beliefs. And now, you're look, reunion. Reunion right after that. Right behind the fear. Right after the fear. First, this person had to come into union with themselves. You had to come into union with yourself. This person also want to marry you. I'm just getting that. They're letting go of fears, doubts, worries, scarcity, energy. Somebody could be afraid of... You could be having ancestors that's like reaching out to you and you, you might be afraid because you think it's something dark. Um, you might see orbs or whatever. You could be a seer um, or you could, hear, you could hear things or just feel things. You have like either one or all the clears or two because everybody can't handle all of them. At least not right now. Like some people can handle one at a time or whatever it is for you, you know, but um. Your ancestors will be trying to reach out to you. Um, they're saying let go of the fears because it's it's limiting you. You are a limitless being. You can have whatever you want. And right past the fears, it's the reunion. Look, it's the sun. Now here comes the happy ever after. Now here comes the truth. Okay? Here's the freedom. 
Y'all going from disharmony to, to harmony, to things just flowing for y'all. They want to express to you. They want to be with you. They want to connect with you. They want to marry you. They apologize for being so cold and detached from this connection. But you weren't the only one they were cold and detached from. They could have been cold and detached from a lot of, a lot. I feel like they were cold and detached from, from the God that's within them. They were cold and detached from, you know, the things that they once did. And now this person is remembering, like, how they used to take care of themselves or, or their self-care routine. They could have even had a routine or maybe they never had a routine and they thinking about that. And now they want a routine. Maybe y'all would have your own routine together. What's, what's this first row spirit? Suffering in reverse and shadow side. The death card, transformation, the ace of pentacles with the hermit. Yeah, y'all both had to, y'all was in isolation for a minute. Somebody could have been in isolation. You or your person or both. I feel like they are in isolation now. But I feel like you have been in isolation for a minute, but y'all coming out of isolation. Y'all ready for this new beginning. This is new. This is the universe gifting you this. Like you're literally getting gifted with a, a golden coin. I'm also getting you the golden child, the golden ticket. Like you're literally getting gifted because you didn't fight this transformation. The death card. There was some type of ending. Like I said in the beginning of the reading. Somebody could have passed over, um, a loved one or someone you know could have passed or is about to. And it may happen unexpectedly or it happened unexpectedly. There's some victory and su success here. There's some type of truth. There's also some type of public recognition. If you're going, if somebody is dealing with the law or the justice system going to court or something like that, Especially if it's due to a death. So like I said in a previous reading, I said something about somebody having a life insurance policy on somebody. Um, yeah, you're about to get your justice. If you're going through some type of court system situation, justice is being served in your favor. It's nothing for you to worry about. And if you've been um, humiliated publicly, it's about to be known publicly that whoever lied on you, um, somebody... Could have lied. Whoever lied on you could have even um, died or is about to. But I feel like spirit going to make the same people watch you step into your manifestations. The Empress. There's an ending here though. Or there's a transformation. Look, because it's a renewal. This masculine had to end certain things. They could be even getting a divorce. Some of these masculines could have been married. Or just had a public relationship. Could have been an engagement. I feel like this masculine was afraid to like, look like a loser. Or feel like a loser publicly. Like They cared a lot about what other people thought. But I feel like they're coming out of this in a victorious energy. They want a new connection. They want a renewal with you. The spark is back there. They can feel their feelings again. But they first had to go through this transformation. And they want to bring some type of truth. Like I said, through your dream state, there's some type of truthful messages coming. It's from your spirit team. Your masculine could even be sending you messages. Somebody's mother could have passed away. Or this could have even been somebody who was doing spells and stuff on you. Or death magic. I don't want to get in, tap into all of that in this reading. This ain't one of them. But something is going to happen unexpectedly. You're also about to receive your manifestations unexpectedly. Spirit is saying open up to receive at this point. Look, open your heart. Stay in this high vibrational energy. Stay in this Queen of Cups energy. This is somebody who is very emotionally aware, emotionally mature, um, emotionally available. Okay? Um, this is somebody who is also um, highly intuitive. Could be a water sign, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just the energy. It's just the energy. You are now attracting. The Queen of Cups is the attractor. She is very attractive because she moves from her heart chakra. She's in this happy, abundant energy. 
Um, she attracts love. She attracts um, everything to her because of her self-love and self-care and her unconditional love for not only herself, but for others. And that's also why this masculine is very attracted to you. Some of you could end up even just um, eloping. But we definitely got the Knight of Wands, this Emperor. We got the Knight of Wands and we got the Emperor. So this could either be two different people or this could be this, this masculine going from the um, Knight of Wands to the Emperor. Somebody's very going from unstable or in and out energy. Could be a player, playboy type of energy to going into this bossed up energy. Somebody who take care of business, okay? But could be very stubborn or was very stubborn in the past. But this person is ready to rush in towards you. They want to give, give you something. A lot of them got a lot of sexual energy towards you. Okay, but um, they want to gift you something. This is somebody who's definitely a boss. Could be an Aries here. We got Libra, Scorpio. Um, what's that? Virgo. Um, Taurus. Those are the main signs. But Spirit is saying, get out your head. They be in their head a lot. They can't sleep. They be up at night. Some some of y'all be doing y'all self self care routine. Y'all sleep schedule didn't change. Y'all could be doing y'all self-care routine at 3, 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> somebody got some major energy. Like, you you get energy at different times. But somebody got some stamina. Somebody is somebody is realizing they had um, a lot of stamina or they got a lot of stamina now. And they want to show you. They think about old times that y'all shared. If y'all never had sex before, then they're thinking about how they want to share it's not, this is more than just, like, bedroom energy. This is more than them just wanting to get you in the bedroom. This is, like, they want to make love to you. This is the person, they feel like they want to marry you. I feel like they know that you'll match their energy. It's a lot of things that they didn't recognize you about you before that they're starting to recognize now. Five of Pentacles, missing you, could be feeling in this lack energy or coming out of feeling like that, feeling like they don't have enough or they're not worthy. Yeah, look, it's coming to an end. The World card with the Four of Wands, this, this is celebration that's happening. This person is coming out of this lack energy and coming out of feeling like they're not worthy or they don't have enough to coming in like ready to take action. Finally having the courage to start this new beginning. They're very attracted to you, okay? It's like, get it wise hot type of energy. Like, they're ready to, to move forward into union with you and, and your person. I said you and your person. Yeah. They're ready to move forward with you, okay? Somebody is single here. They may want you to know that. You could have been in the single energy. Somebody is independent, though. This is the lower arcana empress or emperor. Um, this person has grown a lot. They're no longer in that. They're no longer with whoever they were with. And they're coming in to apologize. They're just waiting for the right time. They put you, they may have treated you like an option or kept you as an option or you felt like that's what was going on. That's what they want to apologize about. They don't look at you as no option. They look at you as the person they want to marry, that they have a lot of chemistry with. Um, they know that you're their twin flame. Okay, they can't stop thinking about you. They're getting guidance from their spirit team, from their higher self. Okay, yeah. They're making better decisions for themselves. King of Swords, I'm telling you, bringing truth and clarity to... Um, they're about to bring truth and clarity to the situation. Divine Spirit has stepped in to bring truth and clarity to this person. You could be seeing dragonflies a lot, but um, that represents new beginnings that's happening. I also see a ladybug here that represents fertility. We do got the empress here. This person coming to get you pregnant. You could even be dreaming about your children, stuff like that. But high priestess, trust your intuition. 
Know that everything is working out for you in your favor. Whatever was in the dark, whatever secrets is starting to come to the light. That's what they want to tell you. They want to clear the air. They want to let you know that they made a wrong decision in the past. They're very apologetic. Okay? They want you to know that y'all have this um, amazing chemistry. They're very passionate about you and they're very attracted to you. Okay? <laughs> They didn't feel worthy enough, and now this person is in regret for the betrayal and the, and the pain and the hurt that they may have caused you in the past, but they want to move forward with you. They want to uh, maybe even gift you something. Like I said, that's here too. The Six of Pentacles, they're feeling very generous towards you, wanting to bring balance and stability to the situation. Okay, so trust your intuition, trust your higher self, pay attention to your dreams at this time. Say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.